hi guys welcome welcome back to my channel <laughs> this week we're going to be doing a few days of breakfast and i have a piece of leftover steak that was supposed to be kind of a sweet and steak is it? Where you? I was reviewing it, but it was not giving tender cows of the grass, massage, listen to opera music, relax muscle, and choose. So we're gonna make breakfast with the steak. Let's go. I've talked about this so many times I'm very specific about my scrambled eggs so I'm preheating my stainless steel pan and a lot of people say they love butter in their eggs I do too but I hate that sometimes it burns when you're using real butter not much it burns and I don't like that but I love the flavor of butter in that so we're going in with some oil with stainless steel it's so important to preheat so your eggs doesn't your eggs doesn't yo the English so your eggs don't stick to the pan right here and then you can turn off your stove immediately. And in seconds you have your beautiful scrambled eggs. I'm slicing up some tomatoes. Pop the steak in to get warm. And my tomatoes. Some flaky sauce on the tomato. My steak is warm, so I'm gonna get it out. I don't want it to overcook. Get your tomatoes on the plate. And then I usually would have this with some bread, but I'm not craving bread today. I have some berries over here. So we're gonna add them to the side of the plate for some antioxidants. And fiber and if you know me you know i like my food on a lot of spicy side so i'm gonna get some of this this hot sauce on the food and there we have my breakfast how good does that look see you tomorrow for breakfast good morning let's make breakfast today i'm craving some oats so we're about to make my creamy Oh, it's under old screen. Come on. So I got a cup. Is a cup enough? I'm gonna make two portions and then I'm gonna keep some oats in the fridge. So I'm going in with two cups of boiled water. And then to that I'm gonna add some soy milk. I don't measure that, I just want the water to be white and then very important to season your oats. Like I hate unseasoned oats. Two thirds of a cup. I also like to add a bit of vanilla in my oats. And then you're gonna let this come to a boil. Once it does, you turn the heat down and let it simmer, stirring in between. I like to stir so that it releases all the creaminess from the oats and you have creamy oats. As you can see, it's boiling now, so I'm gonna turn my heat down to low heat. Stir it a bit. And then I'm gonna cook it for about 20 minutes. I cook my oats for long because I like it soft and plump and delicious. So we're gonna cook this for 20 minutes, stirring in between. and gentlemen is how I love my oats if my oats is not busy like this with fruits chocolate peanut butter I don't want it this is my favorite way to have oats 
so good. I'm on my way to church and today's breakfast is going to be pretty easy. potato that I diced up into small bits and then I'm going to season it with this taco spice that I love and then give it a drizzle of some oil and then I'm going to pop this in the air fryer until it's nice and cooked. What we're making today is a yogurt bowl with some potatoes and a fried egg and chili oil. Sounds delicious. Yogurt, chili oil, sweet potato, and a crispy fried egg. Doesn't that sound like a delicious breakfast? Mm -hmm. And that is it for a few days of breakfast with a mini. -me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please press the thumbs up button and like the video. And if you're new here, please subscribe. Thank you for joining me on my nursery. Bye-bye.